You think anyone would realize that you're not driving yet? No. I don't, no. I don't think anyone would have any idea. That's the bus only signal I was talking oh, about. Oh, okay. The right yeah, one. yeah, no, I see that now, yeah. Okay, so a bigger double yellow here. We're like in limbo right now. Hold up, bro. He didn't even look. He just jumped down. And he's all upset. I think he got very close to the mirror. He did, yeah. <laughs> Have you had closer calls? Or that's like your closest one? Of a pedestrian? Yeah. Um, he's usually very careful around pedestrians, but I don't think I was expecting him to jump off of there. No, that, was, that was definitely on him because he didn't even look our way. He just jumped off doing his own thing. Yeah. Again, we're not sugarcoating, we're not pampering it. Yeah, doing its thing. Actually, there was once a closer call in version 12. I saw a video, he went, it was through Chinatown. Okay. Almost hit a lady crossing. Wow. Like head on. That would have been like through the side. Mm -hmm. That guy would have been, that would be, have been head on. Yeah, Chinatown has some very small streets. Like they're just like one way with like two sidewalks. Yeah. One on each side. This at least is a two-way street. You have margin of air to go around people. Yeah. But it's not like financial district where it was built in the 1700s. This yeah. used to be a farm, by the way. Back in the day, Bronx was a suburb with farms. I mean, I would imagine they would keep the food supply close. Probably yeah. should have been a little more friendly with the police officer. <laughs> Even though that was, he did not have the right of way. Yeah. I mean, the worst thing I saw in the city, like it, I wasn't on FSD, but uh, there was a guy that like, that like fell out of his wheelchair. He was just in the middle of the road. Oh. And then like nobody was like, helping them they were just like all the cars were just driving around them the whole time uh, and like just, i saw some people on the side that, that were like on their phone so i'm assuming they were called calling the 911 to, yeah to, to close the hand yeah so, that situation i would call 911 too i don't want to be the one to have to stop traffic that's nypd yeah But at least that guy who didn't look, you know, can move away. Yeah. The guy in the wheelchair, no chance. Well, this guy, he wasn't even in his wheelchair. He was just like laying on the street, like yeah. in the middle of the, in the middle of the road. So I was like, that's a crazy uh, FSD intervention. Or edge case, I should say. Yeah. Did you ever hear that when you're in front of a New York City school, you can't park in front of the doors? Oh, no, I never knew that. Because when we went to New York City uh, December, mm -hmm. we tried doing that, and a local was like, no, don't do that. You're going to get a ticket. Okay. If it wasn't for a local telling us. We would never know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah, those are like the little things that you'd have to know just by living here. Yeah. Was it like lined out or anything or it just looked like a regular spot? It looked like a regular spot, but there was um, no one there. Okay. But it wasn't like striped out or anything? Yeah, no. Uh, Maybe just like a subtle no parking sign, if yeah. anything. I think that's the most interesting delivery truck I've ever seen. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. I can't believe it's been already been two hours since we've... Yeah, yeah, it's so far so good. Robo taxi is probably going to be on the street for more than two hours. Let's be real. Oh yeah, no, I mean they're going to be going twenty four seven. I think just stopping for charging, especially when there's uh, you know a low number of them. 
I just wonder how they're gonna charge charge them now that they don't have wireless charging on those. And there's no wireless charging in Austin as far as I know. Yeah. Imagine though it takes the hardware six before you know you get rock, you get you get charging yeah. from Starlink. <laughs> but I don't think Starlink's pushing out power, right? You never know what you want. So. That's true. I'm not sure I want to be driving around while the car is being microwaved from space. <laughs> Who knows, maybe they'll have Optimus plug in them in at the charging stations for now. Yeah, to eliminate human employees, yeah. possibly. Again, wrong side of the road. Yeah, well, we don't have a choice. <laughs> There was someone with a mobility scooter using the bike lane okay. as a bike. Basically, it's just going to take us through the busiest section of the Bronx. Mm -hmm. We'll go across the river to Harlem. Then it'll be back to the touristy spots around Central Park. All right, cool. This is India style traffic here now. Scooters. Vietnam. Wait, some of those uh, videos from China are just wild. They still um, hold their hands on the steering wheel there. Yeah, I would too if I was in their, in their situation. It's like, because uh, they're, uh, they're, like, there was one where there was just like the tip of a mountain that he's driving on, just a dirt road. I know, that's 500 times worse than either. Oh yeah. I think Ashok commented on it and it was like, <laughs> it's like terrified by it. Yes, yeah, soon we're gonna be back in Manhattan. To the more familiar roads they've covered. Yeah. Good slow down for those vehicles. Yeah, driving on the wrong side of the road for this vehicle. Very confident though, <laughs> going between the bus and the van. Yeah. Open door. What? That's just like a local. He just doesn't care. <laughs> he got, she got double parked in. Yeah. Sure, you're gonna have a fun exchange. Yeah, this is definitely uh, busier than the other area. Mm. It's like the center of the South Bronx. Mm. Reminds me of Newark if you've ever been there. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Have you ever gone to downtown Newark or one of the other neighborhoods there? Yeah. Like close by? Exactly like Newark. So what do you think is the reason why we've been on 13 for so long? Do you think it's edge cases or more of like Elon's politics? I think that they're just focused on Texas, and making sure that the RoboTaxi's work in Austin. Because like their team is pretty small, you know, it's not like they have 
a thousand engineers. So I think yeah. that they need to like narrow their focus to whatever is the top priority. And I think that they just like all hands on deck making Austin work because they need to show proof of concept at this point. Like this yeah. is like shut up and put up kind of time. Yeah. You know? Except for like a few areas further north. This was fine to, you know, let yeah. it go. I'm sure, I mean, they're still collecting this data, you know, that's just a matter of adding it to the model when they sort through it, which is like amazing because <clears throat> I mean, like on official numbers, like 400,000 FSD users. Yeah. So if everybody's constantly, like most people who have FSD, I feel like they use it all the time. At least I do. I don't know. Yeah. Like I can't imagine somebody's paying paying for FSD or paying a hundred bucks a month and that drives them themselves around to like that, yeah. that wouldn't make sense to me. It's ninety nine dollars and it stacks up fast for eight thousand dollars one time. Yeah. It's like why wouldn't you use this? Yeah. I can understand before where it's like, you know, it's a lot of interventions, but now it's just like, it's like, it gets from A to B, no problem. So they're really the parking and like the summon. The summon maybe works like one out of 10 times for me. Yeah, because it always gets trapped and I have to like do the walk of shame and we'll get the car because it's blocking in somebody behind them or something. Like it's on the level of double parking someone in. Yeah, walk yeah exactly. Like I tried it at the at my local mall. Like I was trying to pull the car up to a different door, and it like backed out. And then some lady started backing out, and uh, it just got trapped. And then the lady's like honking, even though she has no no cars in front of her, so she can just drive through the parking lot and just leave. But yet she's like still attempting to back out. <clears throat> and I'm like watching this from like I don't know maybe. 300 feet away or 200 feet away. Um, just waiting. And then she comes out of the car. She goes to like yell at at the car and but there's, there's nobody, nobody in there. So she's like, just throws her hands up in the air. She gets back in her car and her mom comes out. <laughs> Cause I don't think she like believed her that there's nobody in there. And they're like honking the horn and stuff. And the car is just stuck there. And I'm like, I'm holding the button, but it's not moving. So eventually, I have to like go there and like rescue the car and reveal who yeah. was the and mastermind. Reveal, yeah, who was the mastermind behind this cluster that happened to them? But yeah, so I don't, I don't use summon very often. It's more like a party trick type thing, and uh, like the range is so small on it too. Like if you go to a Costco, like you have to park almost like pretty close to the door, and it's like yeah. never parking that close. At least for me. It probably runs on an older stack of software. Like, I don't think it's upgraded like the FSD software, Smart Summon. Yeah. And I think that's what's the, uh, the front bumper camera is going to be used for that predominantly. Oh, I was not sure about this scooter. Yeah. Well done. Right. Once we get across that bridge, we're back in Manhattan. This is the area they're trying to improve too. See the new mm -hmm. the building? Yeah, yeah. A lot of newer buildings on this side. But I think it's like as the city expands, it's just going to push out. Yeah. They're going to need to with all the immigrants and all the population growth. Yeah.
probably here. I'm not sure if we're gonna go left or right. Uh, I'm sure it looks like you're following the map. Fifth Avenue. Well, that's good. Sneak into this turn now. <laughs> All right, let's go with this. Well, this is one of the Amazon trucks now. No, it's two lanes. That's good to know. I think it knows this road is two lanes. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is one of the Amazon trucks. They finally oh. got out from. Uh... Oh no, that's a Chevy. I know, because it was unmarked. Wow. That's why I was confused by what you were saying. But wow. No. Uh, looks like Chevy's buying these delivery trucks vans. from... Uh, yeah, I think they're buying these delivery vans from Amazon, and they're just slapping their logo on it. would not be surprised. Because it looks just like the Amazon one. Yeah. But they finally... I think their contract is up on... Mm. Yeah, it sees that it's blocked in. Yeah, their contract is, is up so they could actually sell to third parties because they had an exclusive with Amazon for a while. <clears throat> I think Amazon owns part of Rivian. Yeah. I think that's where Amazon's trying to go in terms of the robo-taxi business, just in Rivian, but there's yeah. no Rivian FSD yet. Yeah. Now it's one way. 